Skyliner's element range has been in a continual state of development ever since its arrival. Uh, we've seen the introduction of a centre console line for the element. We've also seen the original element become the E5, the XL become the E6, and here at London we've got a new 20-footer called the E7. It's immediately plain that this is a very user-friendly boat. Ease of access through the centre part of the transom is fantastic, and despite the fact that this is only a 20-foot boat, it's big enough to seat 10 people. On the face of it, a table between the nav position and the helm station seems like a very odd place to put it. But when you consider that both the aft cockpit and the broad forward section can both be turned into uh, complete sunbathing pads, it's actually quite useful that you retain this section in the centre. It's also ought to be a very decent driver's boat. You've got the fixed integrated tank, you've got the same deeper hull section for a softer ride as you get on the CC7. And you've also got power ratings from 115 to 150. But with the 115, this is a 30 knot boat. And at 24,000 pounds for an all-in package, that's exactly where Bayliner needs to be.